Welcome to the latest episode of Drinking with the Stars. I'm Lucas Shaw here with director Frank Karachi. Now Frank directed Blended, the new Adam Sandler Drew Barrymore comedy which is in theaters this Friday and we are here at Mixology. Unfortunately Frank is feeling a little bit under the weather. He's been traveling around uh, for the, the various premieres and screenings of the movie. So instead of alcohol we're going with Limeade, a little vitamin C for both of our systems. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So and you mentioned Adam's loyalty and he does sort of have the same stable of people work with him every time. How did you get involved with Blended because you've made some of his movies and not others like how does it come yeah about? I, 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 uh, I want to keep it fresh he wants to keep it fresh so I don't want to just do every movie with him so it's been last movie we did together was click was 2006 I think so I feel like every once in a while we feel like all right I have a new perspective you have a new perspective we were talking about doing another movie and then uh, he read Blended and said check this script out and like I said when I read the first scene and they like hated each other I thought, <laughs> wow that'll be cool if we could pull this off and then we talked about Drew being let's bring her back in right yeah so that's sort of how that one came about yeah and so for, for those who haven't seen it because it's not out yet kind of what is the the basic premise okay so Adam and Drew are both single parents Adam's a widower Drew's a divorced uh, parent uh, they're both struggling as single parents uh, she has two boys he has two three girls He's doing a terrible job with the girls. They're dressed in these awkward sweatsuits. Short hair. He's a guy, yeah. got bad haircut, he brings them to the barber. They need a woman in their lives. Uh, the, her, the Drew sons need a dad. Um, they go on a blind date, and it is the worst blind date ever. At uh, Hooters. At Hooters. Which has a real emotional connection that you'll find out yeah. later in the movie. And it's all about their first perceptions of each other. Oh, this guy's a jerk. Oh, this girl's uptight. And what's interesting is how first impressions aren't always right. And throughout the movie, you see how similar they actually really are. Uh, and they sort of have a common thing where they both care about their kids more than anything. Right. That's, I think, the different perspective on a romantic comedy. You like a person for the right reasons. And in this case, it's, it's how unselfish they are with their kids. And, and it sounds corny, but at the end of the day, it's really fun and funny. Uh, so it's a fun ride, and it gets emotional at times. Yeah. Uh, but we always try not to give too much emotion, so you, you don't roll your eyes, and uh, that seems to be working for us. So I think by the end, you're laughing all the way through to the end. Yeah, I, there are definitely some moments where people get teared up. As someone who lost a, a parent very early on in his life, that whole side element of the story really connects with, with you, um, I think, for, for anyone who's lost a parent. What, um, in, in term, you, the movie mostly takes place at a resort in Africa. Yeah. Did you actually shoot in Africa or did you come up with We some actually to... shot um, most of the movie in Africa, which I love traveling. I think traveling is the greatest thing, especially Americans don't get out enough. To see the world, it just opens your mind up and you just, it's a great way uh, to just experience life. And um, it, it was originally written for a cruise ship. And as a director, I'm like, well, that's not very visual. Um, so, w and in the story, it needed to be, they want to take their kids on an, a vacation that would be amazing. And they're struggling kind of working class people. So the idea of a, like a wealthy man's safari seemed to be the fo most far-fetched. And as right. a filmmaker, I thought, what a great backdrop. I mean, you have like, you know, this beautiful expanse, the bush, safari, the sunsets there were gorgeous. I scouted and I'm like, this, this couldn't be better. And I was like, no one's really done a movie in Africa that wasn't Blood Diamond or something really heavy. Why not embrace Africa, enjoy it, and have this be like the trip of a lifetime for even people that go to the movies. Well, thank you for watching the latest episode of Drinking with the Stars. And again, Blended comes out this weekend. Salute. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah.